President Yoram Seven was the chief guest at the official opening of Victoria University, the first UK university in Uganda. The president, who quoted from economist Adam Smith's book, The Wealth of Nations, said Africa can only make good progress in development path by embracing specialization and robust trade. He noted that Africa is experiencing challenges similar to what Europe went through in the Renaissance and the mistakes Europeans made in amassing resources is a lesson to African countries. There was, for instance, one group. They believed that uh, if you went to South America and you killed all the Red Indians and you stole the gold and you stole the silver, you would end up being the richest country in the world. And Spain and Portugal excelled in doing that but they ended up being the most backward countries in Europe. Many African countries still export unprocessed goods like coffee. President Museven says this should stop. The global coffee business is about $99 billion. However, out of that $99 billion, only $5 billion goes to the coffee-growing countries. Former Prime Minister Professor Apollon Sivambi was saddened to observe that student enrollment in Uganda keeps rising yet the income per capita of Ugandans has not significantly changed since 1970s and therefore parents find difficulty in raising tuition. Despite the growth in numbers, only 5% of relevant age attending tertiary institutions in Africa. Sub-Saharan African Gross enrollment ratio is still 5%. Victoria University, the first UK university in Uganda, offers courses in business, health, and engineering, with the standards stuck to the parent university of Buckingham. Integrity of exams. Corruption is a major problem in higher education globally, and we will work absolutely to ensure that the degrees awarded by this institution are completely honest. And if that means a significant failure rate, so be it. It is hoped that the university will take in some of the 200,000 students who complete Senior 6 every year. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV, Weekend Edition.